Right guys, just a quick video. If you've seen me status before, that I put up this morning, about people who are terrified of hard work, I want to clarify a few things with that. So I've got no problem with people who, you know, want to work less and who want to prioritise maybe family time a little bit more and who want to, you know, who have other priorities in life. That's It's completely fine. That's, that's fine. It all boils down to whatever you want to achieve in life and whatever your prior, priorities are, do that. Do just that. My problem only lies with people who want to work, not contribute more value and don't want to get better, but who want to earn more. You know what I mean? So yeah, the issue lies with people who want to earn more without without getting better themselves. I was always taught from when I first become a PT that you've got to work crazy hard. It's a very competitive industry. And it's only even more competitive now. That was eight years ago when I qualified. So it's even more competitive these days. There's dozens and dozens of PTs get qualified, qual qualifying every single month. It probably won't be long before we've got more PTs than we have clients. But countless times I hear PTs saying, oh yeah, I was, a, I was a PT, but then I quit because there's not enough clients, which is a load of crap. There's, there is enough clients. It's just that everyone's afraid of actually working hard. This is not an industry that you can just dip your toe in and, you know, and, and hope it works. You need to dive in head first into the deep end and learn to swim quick. And I understand that, you know, you've got mortgages and you've got kids to feed and stuff like that. It can be difficult, but it's just the way it is. It, you, you can't expect to jump into something, a completely new industry, and then be rewarded for, you know, be rewarded the same as someone who's been in the game for 10 years, let's say. I, but surprising how many people are like that. that you'll see people who have been personal training for 10, 15, 20 years see that that, that person's charging 40, 45 pounds a session and then a new PT will come in and be like well I want to earn that much without putting the hard work in as I said in the status I remember back when I was a PT it was kind of the dream to be that busy because we knew how hard of an industry it was to succeed in so when you look at these amazing PTs, all the great PTs who I know are doing 35, 40, 45, 50 sessions. Obviously there's some terrible PTs out there who are extremely busy, of course. And there's a lot of great PTs out there who are doing 15 sessions a week, 10 sessions a week, and who can't get, who, who, who are struggling. So they just need a little bit more direction. But still, it boils down to actually getting your, your head down, knuckling down, stop moaning. It's about the stuff that you're doing when no one's looking. It's the same with weight loss as well. You know, if you're constantly seeking approval and constantly want to be rewarded for very minimal effort, you know, it's, it's, it's a dead end. Reward, your, reward the results. Result, reward yourself when you get there in a different manner. Don't reward your effort. Reward the result. You know what I mean? And then don't reward the result to the point where it's going to take you right back to square one i.e. you want to save 10 grand and at the end of the year you reward yourself, you, get to, you get to your 10 grand saving and then you want to reward yourself by going on a 10 grand holiday. It's exactly the same with weight loss. People say, I want to lose two stone and you know they, get, they, they lose the two stone and go, right, you know, I'm going to reward myself now. And then they gain the two stone back because the rewarding, the, the rewarding mindset just to get, they get trapped in it and you just end up rewarding, rewarding, rewarding before they know a six months have passed and you're two, three stone back up. So anyway, I'm just ranting on and all that. Just a little video, a little bit of food for thought. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know.